What's up guys, Brad here, and today I'm going to give you five tips on how to create realistic composites in Photoshop. Let's do this. Alright, so I've got Lightroom open and these are the two images we're going to use today to create our composite. The first one is this nice background here, this beautiful landscape, and the second one is this hot air balloon which we're going to composite into that image to create something like this. The first tip is something that you actually need to consider before you select your images or before you shoot your images, and that is light direction. If you take a look at the background, we've got the sun here at the top, so we want the subject, the hot air balloon, that we composite into this image to look like it's got the same light source. So if you look at the hot air balloon, you'll see we've got the sun on the right hand side of the balloon, and it does look like it's coming from the top, so these two will work perfectly together. So the first thing I'm going to do is to select both images, right click, edit in Adobe Photoshop so I can bring those images into Photoshop and we can put them together. Now that I've got both these images over here in Photoshop, the next tip is all about masking. I need this mask of the hot air balloon to be completely accurate because when I composite it into the background, it needs to look like it existed in that scene already and that it wasn't just cut and paste in there, which is essentially what we're doing. Your masking approach is going to be different for every composite because sometimes you'll have hair, different colored backgrounds, it might be more complex. This is a rather simple composite because the background is almost completely white. So to separate the hot air balloon from the background will be quite easy. I'm going to go over to my select menu, hit color range, and I'm going to basically just select this white sky. And I'm going to add these extra colors by holding shift and clicking on that area. Quite happy with that selection. We're going to tidy up this little reflection here in a minute. Hit OK, there's my selection. So now I've selected the background, I want to just isolate the hot air balloon itself, so I need to invert the mask, and I can do that by hitting Command Shift I, that'll invert the mask, and then I can go over here, hit my layer mask. Now, in order to see what your layer mask looks like, what I like to do is to add a new layer, and then I fill that layer with a really bright color, so something like red. Drag that layer down below, now if you zoom in, you can see where your mask needs to be cleaned up. So I'm going to go in here and fix up this layer mask with the brush tool. I can alt click on the layer mask just to isolate that layer mask. Hit B for my brush tool. I want to paint in with white. So I just want to paint these areas in. Let me zoom in here. Just to neaten up that layer mask. That's looking pretty good. Let's just see the whole frame. We do have some areas here that could be tidied up a little more. Let's go to black and just paint those in. When I'm happy with the mask, I can alt click on the layer mask to bring it back. I'm going to delete this layer here. And that is my masking complete. The next thing I want to do is to bring that hot air balloon into my scene. So I'm going to right click on this layer, duplicate the layer, drop it into my background. Now that I've got the two layers together in the same file, the next tip is all about perspective. Perspective is really important because you need this hot air balloon to look like it was in the scene already. And, and one of the ways to do that is to create an accurate, believable perspective. So the first thing we need to do here is obviously to scale this hot air balloon down. It's still quite big, Let's scale it down even further. I'd say somewhere about there, it's good. Now also in terms of perspective, remember we spoke about the light direction. This is really on the right hand side, so that sun needs to be shining on the right hand side of it. So I think if we move this a bit more to the left, we'll achieve that effect. Something right about there. The fourth tip when it comes to creating realistic composites in Photoshop is balance. Now balance can be a whole lot of different things, but for this tutorial we're going to talk about white balance, contrast balance and saturation balance. And you want all these things to match between your foreground, which is your subject, your hot air balloon and your background. So in terms of white balance, I made these images match in Lightroom already, so we don't have to worry about the white balance now. The next thing we need to worry about is the contrast. So in order to create contrast balance, I'm going to select this layer, add an adjustment layer, and I'm going to add a brightness and contrast adjustment layer. And I want this adjustment to only affect the hot air balloon and not the background. So you'll see if I increase the contrast, it affects the entire image. I don't want to do that. So I want to make this a clipping mask, I hold down Alt and I click between the two layers and you'll see that'll make it a clipping mask. So any adjustment I make will only affect the hot air balloon. So I'm going to go here, I'm going to reduce the contrast, reduce the brightness a little bit, reduce the contrast even more. And something like that looks pretty good. 
The next adjustment I'm going to make is to balance the saturation. So I'll come over here, add hue saturation adjustment. Again, alt click, make sure that's a clipping mask. And I'm gonna increase the saturation a little bit. That's a bit too much, somewhere around there. Maybe about there, matches the scene a little better. So you'll see if I take these layers off, looks like it's a little bit cut and paste onto the scene. If I add these layers back, it now blends a little bit better with the scene. The final tip to creating realistic composites in Photoshop is to make it cohesive. You want to apply an effect to all the layers to make sure that it all comes together and looks like one image. One way to do this is to add an adjustment here and add a photo filter. In the case of this image, I might add a warming filter to decrease the density a little bit. Now that this filter's on, let me just go ahead and adjust this contrast a little bit, bring it down, brighten it up just a little bit. And this photo filter you'll see kind of brings it all together, it makes it look like one cohesive image, and it's as easy as that to create a realistic composite in Photoshop. Here's the before, and here's the after. Those are my five tips on how to create realistic composites in Photoshop. They're simple but effective tips, and they should work for pretty much any composite. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, and we'll see you guys in the next video.